Okay, so I already took my backpack with me. Usually I just bring my tote bag with me, but this time it's I think it's gonna be like too small for me, so I decided to take a bigger one, which is this one, because I think I'm gonna buy quite a lot of stuff today. So there are different supermarkets in my place. I usually go to the supermarket with my bike because then it will be easier for me to take my groceries rather than walking home with a heavy bag. So there are different types of supermarkets in Germany and the most popular discount supermarkets among students are Aldi, Lidl, Kaufland and Netto. So they offer low prices on all of their items and they are always trying to match their prices with each other. The one that I'm at right now, it's called Aldi and mostly in Aldi it's like everything's a lot cheaper than the other supermarkets. And the one that are more expensive will be Edeka and Revo. The larger the supermarket, the more great stuffs you will find. You will also find their own brands in each supermarket. For example, Edeka own brand is called Guten Gunstech and Revo is called Ja. I usually eat this for breakfast, but I just bought it yesterday, so I don't have to buy this anymore. But anyway, it costs one euro. They also have in-store cafe or bakeries in store selling fresh bread. For example, like this, they sell croissants, baguettes, all. So, I usually buy myself an orange juice. This one would cost 85 cents. Sadly, here in Aldi, they only have one kind of juice that I really like. But if I go to Lidl or maybe Revo, they usually have different types of juices. Oh my god, this looks so good. I think I'm gonna take this. It costs 1 euro 70. I'm gonna take that. You can also find household products in a supermarket, but I would suggest you to go to DM or to Rosman to buy beauty products or household products because it's cheaper than in a supermarket. And I still need, in German it's called Aufstrich, Alaska Selax, and then they also have tuna, they have tomato mozzarella, looks really good actually, I think I might take this one. This is the mayonnaise that I'm gonna buy. It costs one euro. Ooh, 80% wraps all. Oh, well, I love it. Funky and In bigger supermarkets, you will find a Getanko Markt, which sells all kinds of drinks, both beer and bottled water, alcohol, whatever it is. I'm gonna buy this rice as well. It's jasmine rice oh and it costs two euros like in germany they have different types of rice for example they also have like the parboiled rice this is not really like the asian rice i usually eat while i was in indonesia so i would say to no i prefer the jasmine rice compared to basmati actually i think i've tried it once but i don't know and also in Germany, you can also use this Kochbeutel rice. It's really easy to cook this. You just have to put it in your pan, that's all. Yeah, I already have eggs. Last time I bought this one, it's a bio one. It costs almost three euros, but it's more good quality than the normal ones. In Germany, there is a bottle return system because I've purchased this product, so I've paid a deposit for the bottle or it's called fun in German and when I return this, I'll get my deposit back in this coupon and then with this coupon, I can give this coupon to the cashier and to get my money back So, let's go to the cashier I'm really glad that I brought my bag here then I can put more stuff inside because usually I just bring my tote bag and it's too small <laughs> And I went here also with my bike, so it's gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so guys, I need to tell you something. Once you have actually fought your way to the checkout, no one tells you this beforehand, but in Germany, packing your bag at a checkout is practically an Olympic event. The reason for this is the speed. You will understand when you're there. So that's actually all for my videos today and I hope you guys like it and find it informative even though it's short but yeah, bye!